was towards the tail end of the session and we were already kind of dealt with a couple crazy cleanup sets and I just remember thinking, you know, the next set that comes, like, I'm gonna do everything I can to position myself. And I saw this thing bending and it looked just like a, a huge version of a perfect horseshoe beach break. And my brother Cliff was paddling for it outside and he just missed it. And I went and, and I could look down the line and that thing just looked like it was gonna barrel, you know? I was like, oh my God, like a giant portal wave, you know? And uh, I just, you know, did everything I could to make the drop, got a little, little jump in the beginning and then held my rail as hard as I could. And, you know, by the time I got to the bottom, I started bottom turning and that horseshoe up ahead of me that looked like it was gonna like pitch didn't quite come together. I was at top speed and I'm just looking at like a brick wall coming at me. And I'm like, you know, at that point, it's like, if I run into this thing, it's lights out. I try to get up as high as I could and you know, it's going so fast and I was like, oh, I gotta get out of this thing. And then last minute I realized I wasn't gonna be able to get to the top. So I belly flopped into the lip of the wave and I just tried to like, you know, maybe kick out through it. And I just had that one moment where I think I took one stroke and I was like, oh, that's pointless. I just remember going, oh, here we go. And I just, just waited and I curled up and it just, thing just went boom and just blasted me and I was just trying to keep everything in. I was just getting so rag, ragdolled, like a giant was swinging me around. And it was just a lot of turbulence. And um, you know, it didn't hold me down for that long, but it was really violent. And I just remember just staying calm. And you know, I, I, had, I grabbed um, the inflate and you know, I pulled the inflate about halfway through the wipeout just cause I knew I was just like, get up and just get out of this zone. It didn't hold me down that long and I popped up and then the next one was like right on top of me and you know sometimes the inflate is not the best thing you know and on that situation maybe I shouldn't have because when I was up I just got smoked by the next one you know the ski was just couldn't find me because there's just so much you know there's just so much more water moving on the inside there than anywhere else I've ever been to in my life so the ski couldn't find me and I wasn't waiting for it so I just started swimming and went for a nice long swim. You know, basically I got washed in and swam in and got stuck in a little weird current for a little while but I got to the beach and I remember when I got to the beach I was just running up the beach and I was just like, holy smokes, that was, uh, that was one heck of an experience. <laughs> This one definitely was like a man versus wild kind of thing, you know, where I just had to uh, trust in my training and just, you know, make it in. You know, that's, that's the goal, you know, go surf and come home.